Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional Comlex prep resources. Let's review a case. All of the following are risk factors for perioperative myocardial infarction except coronary artery bypass three months prior to the current procedure, a third heart sound, old age, myocardial infarction one year prior to the current procedure, a non-Q wave myocardial infarction three weeks prior to the emergency surgery very high yield topic here. Likely you're going to see something like this on the boards. The answer here is coronary artery bypass three months prior to the current procedure. Um, that in itself is not a risk factor. Okay. The work of Goldman and others has served to actually identify risk factors for perioperative myocardial infarctions. The highest likelihood is associated with recent myocardial infarction and the more recent the event the higher the risk up to six months. So it should be noted that um, the risk never returns to normal. A non-Q wave infarction may not have destroyed much myocardium but it takes the surrounding areas with borderline perfusion and hence the particularly high risk of subsequent perioperative infarction. Evidence of CHF such as jugular venous distension and S3 gallop also varies with high risk and as does the frequency of the occurrence of the ectopic beats. Old age and emergency surgery are risk factors independent of these others. Understand that coronary revascularization by cabbage tends to protect against myocardial infarction. Smoking, diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia are surprisingly not independent risk factors, although they may increase the death rate uh, should an infarction occur. So let's recap here. The key finding is the recent onset of a myocardial infarction, and um, it's un important to understand that um, you know other factors like CHF, JVT, S3 heart sounds, ectopic beats, all these um, lead to um, you know the increased risk. However, coronary artery bypass three months prior to the procedure is not a risk factor. That's actually helping the heart. And understand that uh, most post perioperative infarcts occur postoperatively when the third space fluids return to circulation, increasing the preload and increasing the myocardial oxygen consumption. This generally occurs around a uh, postoperative day three, and so that's a high yield fact. Um, that was a quick review of you know some of the work of perioperative myocardial infarction. Visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures and good luck in your preparation.